Hello everyone, and welcome back to Killer7. Our current mission, we're in the restaurant Fukushima in Washington, D.C. We need to kill the owner, Toru Fukushima, who is the leader of a political party in Japan, and he's in negotiations with the U.S. to try to get the U.S. to use their missile defense system to stop the 200 missiles that are currently in the air on their way to Japan, going to blow up a bunch of people in Japan is basically what's happening and we we're, we're supposed to kill this guy so that's our mission Travis however that we've been talking to he wants us to change our mind about that and not kill Toru Fukushima so we're going to continue on our mission going through the restaurant killing heaven smiles and I guess we'll see what happens when we catch up to the owner Two ways we could go. Let's try heading down here for right now. <laughs> well, let's try to use Dan's counterattack since we unlocked that last time. You bastard! Yep, he just kind of grabs him by the shoulder and shoots him in the chest. <laughs> oh, bomb head. We want to get a pretty good amount of distance away from him. This is too easy. It is fairly easy. Let's go around the other side and clear out the enemies here. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> Again, you really don't want to shoot them in the bomb when they're anywhere close to you. Because it is powerful enough to kill you in one hit if you get caught. Nothing in this room, but I can hear the sound of a micro smile. Let's go around to the other side and see if we can find it. Yep, there it is. By the way, that's Dan's double tap. Yeah, there we go. Can shoot twice in rapid succession. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, it's Travis. What does he have to say? Of the shirts of Travis that we've seen so far, I think Power Lunch might be my favorite. I think that might be one that I would wear. Travis mentioning something about the Yakumo, and that's the first that we'll have heard mention of what's basically the game's MacGuffin. It's not something that we hear about in every level, but we'll hear about it from time to time. He says that it's only a piece of paper, but it could change the world. How could a piece of paper change the world, you might ask? Maybe we'll find out more about that later. Or maybe not. Or maybe anywhere in between. Here's a door. I'm gonna put this odd engraving in the door. And then unlocked it. We needed the odd engraving to unlock the door, and we needed the water ring to get the odd engraving. Now we can open this up. We're in the special room now. I assume what makes it special is that it's on fire. That, I think that's what makes it special. Alright, let's rescue the carrier pigeon from the burning room and see what message it has. Johnny talking about Kevin this time. Mentioning that he's an invisible man, which we actually have not seen yet. He can't believe it, 
but it's for real. Con Smith mentioning that he can speed off and that the Olympic records mean nothing with him running around. So Khan has super speed. We actually haven't seen it yet. We have seen him coyote, though. We have seen him jump and that he can pick any padlock. So super jump and super unlocking skills. He learned to super jump as a method of survival in a rough neighborhood. So we all know that you can just learn to do that if you grow up in a tough place. So he doesn't know much about Garcian, only that he can spot the Heaven Smiles a mile away, which is true. The reason that we can see the Heaven Smiles is because of Garcian's vision ring. And if we wanted to reread any of these messages, we could do it from here. Like this. How much blood do we have? Eh, 122. We don't need to go into Harmon's room right now, I don't think. For right now, we should probably work out on how to get out of this room that is on fire. Hmm. We know someone who would be interested in training. What does Iwazuru have to say about training? Talking about the mask and his wrestling moves, which we actually have not seen yet. Maybe it's about time that we saw one, because we can't go any further here. That's on fire. We can't just walk from fire. Maybe what we can do is change the mask and see what he thinks about this lumber blocking the way into the kitchen. That's right, just German suplex that wood out of the way. What's in your right hand, Chico? Please don't. This is just a- Put your arms down! No, no, it's not like that. This gun is a- Don't move, amigo! Please, don't shoot! Stay still! Ah! What were you doing here? Cleaning up. Our head chef always tells us that an ideal kitchen is a kitchen clean enough that you can lick the floor. Anyway, it's the least that I can do for them. The others? The chef? The waiters? Where are they? Those guys with the strange smiles. You saw them. It's dangerous, Aki. Get out of here. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably my favorite scene in the game, just due to the bullet headbutt. Someone shoots a bullet at you, don't need, don't worry about it. Just headbutt that bullet out of the way. Anyway, this is not on fire anymore, probably because the fire was too intimidated upon seeing Mask headbutt a bullet. Harmon's room? Eh, we still, yeah, don't have any additional blood. We can continue on. It's another smile. You know. It's just another one. Uh... Since I still want to get blood, I don't want to use mask for this. We yeah, let's switch to uh, to Kevin. We haven't used him yet in this level. So 
So the uh, the another smile, the another smile is what it's called. Will cl crawl along the ceiling unless we hit it, and then it falls down. Then it crawls down here on the floor at us rather quickly. It's hard to hit it in the weak point. There we go. Uh, what's Kevin's, uh... So Kevin's wearing the same pants as last time, I think. But I believe his glasses ha are changed. He can now see his eyes through those sunglasses. <laughs> hmm, a Feng Shui map. But what does this mean? Looks like some kind of dinosaur up north. On the uh, on the west, a wolf. On the on the east, a dragon. And in the south, is a phoenix. Maybe maybe Yun Hyun can tell us about this and what we should be taking away from this sign. Let's hear what the mask has to say about it. Aside from being very rude to us, let's hear what he has to say. He's telling us which animals go with which directions and that we need to close the sliding doors. We haven't seen any sliding doors yet. But now we're going into the West House, and we know which animal goes with the West. Micro in the distance. Let's see if we can tag it. Nope. There we go. What does Wazru have to say about the West House? Mazaru's mm, suspicious of that chef that we talked to his mask. Well, we can't think about that right now. We do have a mission to, to get on with. He, that chef really doesn't have anything to do with it. There are three choices that we can make, three doors that we can close, and each of them has an animal on it. If we remember the Feng Shui map that we saw, in the west was a tiger. And there we go. Let's head on out. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
There he is. What does the map for this area look like, by the way? All right. So we have this sort of ring that we're running around. There's an island in the middle, and there are four houses in each direction. We can also see a soul shell near the middle. We haven't seen any soul shells yet in this level. But here's a Kikazaru hanging out by this bridge. But the bridge is up, and we can't make it go down. We can't cross it. So we're just going to have to run around until we find a solution to this. For right now, let's head into Harmon's room. Since we do have a little bit of blood, we can drop it off. Level up some characters. I also need to remind myself which characters have which abilities at this point. Some of them have counterattack and some of them don't. Oh, there we go. Ran out of... Well, I didn't run out, but I maxed out the blood machine. I just used it too much. It broke down. They're going to have to call in maintenance to repair this thing, but until they do, I'm not going to be able to use it for the rest of the level. Don't make me want to black. All right, now he has a counterattack. Okay. Foot lock on. I never found this to be very useful, but with Coyote, I would now be able to, instead of locking on to the center of a Heaven Smile's chest, I'd be able to lock onto their foot, blow their foot off, which would cause them to fall down, and then, then they would be crawling around. And now I also have a counterattack for him. I don't, you know, I'm not really sure what the use of the the foot attack is. If you really wanted to knock them over, you could do it with that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do the counterattack on this guy now that we just unlocked it. Oh, slash right across the neck. Come to think of it, Kevin also has a charge shot, I think. We haven't, done, we haven't seen it yet. As we go into the north house, let's see if we can use that. <laughs> Multiple attacks. It doesn't really matter that much if you're, you're hitting the critical points, but it's kind of neat. What does Travis have to say about that? Was he impressed? So, the Yakumo, which Fukushima possesses, it sounds like there's going to be a meeting tomorrow between the U.S. and Japan at the Kaku building, and that Fukushima at that meeting will offer the U.S. the Yakumo in exchange for saving Japan from being annihilated by missiles. But if that happens, the U.S. will be able to use the Yakumo to rule the world, according to Travis. And depending on what we do, whether or not we kill Fukushima will depend, will affect on whether this can actually happen or not. We're in the North Room, and in the North, in the North was this thing called the Black Warrior. So even though Killer7, even though we're just assassins, Travis is making it clear that we do have the choice to affect the history of the world right now on whether or not we kill this one single man. 
It's one man who has a tremendous amount of power in his hands. <laughs> Why is it that the Yakimo would allow the U.S. to rule the world, you might be asking at this point. Travis did say it was just a bunch of paper, but maybe later on we'll try to figure out more about what, the, what that actually is. For right now, here's a carrier pigeon, which is also carrying a piece of paper. It's not one what that will allow anyone to rule the world, but I'll take it. Again, addressed to Amir, Johnny is mentioning a group called the Harmon Assassins and is threatening maybe calling them on Amir if he doesn't come up with the money. Kind of an odd thing is that when he says the Harmon Assassins, you might think he's talking about us since we do serve Harmon. But Johnny is investigating us, calling us the Smith Syndicate. He sounds like he's considering these groups of people to be two separate groups. Now, of course, he's continuing his job, looking up the history of the Smiths, saying that their first target was was Travis Bell, who was killed 30 years ago, and he, to this day, giving us advice about what's going on in the world. He knows it's dangerous, but he's going to put his life in line and find out. Probably should be life on the line, but life in line. Gotta, you know, gotta compliment Johnny's work ethic. Doing all this, even though he's not getting paid. He is going to finish the job. Alright, now let's head into East House. So we've done two and have two to go. <laughs> Whoop. Thought I would just multiple attack him while he was on the ceiling. Apparently that did not happen. So much blood. Well, there, there went his weak point. What does Wazaru have to say about what's going on right now? An assassin has been sent, but we're an assassin who has been sent here. Another assassin has come here tonight. Well, I mean, hopefully they don't interfere with our job. So we're in the, um, the East House, and East was Dragon. South House, and then our Feng Shui will be completed. <laughs> kind of like how you can kind of see Shinji Mikami's influence on this game. It's not a Resident Evil game, but the way to unlock certain doors are just as bizarre. Anyway. So South... The final animal and final direction was Red Phoenix.
<laughs> the bridge has cl- has come down because we have closed four doors, four paper doors, the right ones, not the wrong ones. We had to close the right ones in each of these four houses to make the bridge come down. Now it has come down, and a soul shell has fallen down on the bridge, and we're going to take it now. It's the only soul shell we've seen in this level. And now let's head to the center island. What might be hiding for it? What might be hiding for it? What might be hiding from us? You can't hide for someone unless it was for a surprise party. Maybe it's a surprise party that's in here. Let's find out. It is not a surprise party. There's nothing surprising about this. We've seen it before. It's the gatekeeper. You want soul shells. Fortunately, we found a soul shell right before we came in here. Some levels are all about soul shells and have a whole bunch of them you need to collect. Others, like this one, they just have one at the very end. Just so you have one that you can give to this guy. The thing about Kevin when he goes in here is that he really likes the music and he just has to dance. All right, enough partying in the in the rave room. Let's head on outside to the Coliseum. The Coliseum being a room that we've been in before but it was in the Celtic building last time. It's here too. A lot of rooms in Killer7 that just sort of move around. They're not fixed to one place. Like Harmon's room or this Coliseum that we're in right now. kid telling us that we shouldn't shoot it in its super huge body part but then say oh he's kidding maybe we should actually shoot it in the huge part whatever that huge part might be let's find out all right the phantom smile is big in a certain place you might have figured out it's its head that's where it's big. Let's get K80 out here because it's important to be accurate. Thing about the the Phantom Smile is that if we shoot it in any other part but the part where it is super huge, it will teleport in front of us and instantly kill us, blowing us up. So we have to make sure that we're very precise on shooting it in the huge part. Let's not go too low. Hurts, doesn't it? There we go. restaurant yeah we're just that this is just where that island left I, I which is just where that island left that doesn't make any sense what was I even trying to say there we're on an island in the middle of the pond there's like a little house on it and we go in here now so the gate man gatekeeper he's no longer in our way he decided to just re- just put that whole area in our way, and now that we're done with it, he has removed it, I guess. All right. 
it, so we have to prepare for the strong girl and to never stop shooting. Harmon's out. So it looks like we're about to meet the boss. We've been expecting you. If you will, right this way, please. Mr. Fukushima is waiting for you inside. I always wanted to be a tea master. It's one of the reasons I chose this profession. Which profession may that be? <laughs> You're an interesting man when you ask a very difficult question. Perhaps it's a sense of humor that can only come from someone who lives his life on the edge. I wanted to become a politician who could be a true leader, but the world of politics was like a stage where people only acted. They were merely actors playing the politician. Did you ever think of becoming an actor? Well, it just so happened that I got a call from the government asking me if I wanted to become an architect for them. Architect? You mean to design and devise? Yes. I took the offer with delight. Is that the only thing you do, Mr. Fukushima, the founder? Could you bring us some refreshments? Certainly. It's a really old story. Union 7, a group made up of seven young men, drew up the Yakumo Party cabinet policy. The heat of factional politics eventually broke down the Union 7. It was like a warm welcome in the world of politics. It became clear to me then, this country didn't have what it took to compete with the rest of the world. It must be wonderful to have such a bright secretary. Not as bright as you, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Hand over the Yakumo. Lady, where are your menaces? Well, our mission was to assassinate that guy, but it looks like it was done for us. Or maybe more importantly, any choice that we might have had was taken from us. Travis did emphasize that we could have made a decision whether or not to kill this guy and affect the path of global history, but that is no longer the case, as his assistant Julia killed him. and We were told that another assassin was sent here. And I guess we just met her. She also told us to hand over the Yakumo. Which, why would Harmon Smith have that? If anyone would have it, it would be Fukushima. He was supposed to offer it to the US. But Julia didn't seem to know where it was. Anyway, the game has changed us to Mask. That's actually a trap because he is the worst character for the upcoming boss fight. I'm gonna to switch to the best one. 
Khan might actually be the only one who can do this boss fight on deadly difficulty. On normal, you could probably do it with other characters as well, but he is the best one for this. Uh, Harmon's room, we don't need to drop off any more blood. What does Travis have to say? seems that Travis thinks that Julia was sent by other Japanese politicians to take out Fukushima. It seems like that might be working against their own interest, but... Actually, let's save in Harmon's room. Just in case. So, I don't think we've saved using Samantha yet. When she is dressed as a maid, we can select her, and then she will save the game. So, Julia, sent by the opposition party in Japan, the Liberal Party, to take out Fukushima, who's powerful with the UN party, the majority, but that doesn't exactly help what's going to be happening with these missiles. Maybe they did it because they wanted to try to get the Yakumo. Let's get out our guns and start shooting and never stop shooting. Basically, the idea of this fight is that neither of us have health meters. We have a timer at the top, and the goal is to shoot the other one more over the course of one minute. The problem is when, yeah, when she stuns me like that, and I'm not able to shoot. The only reprieve I have is when she reloads. Or if, sometimes if I can stun her like that. So it seems like that she hits, on deadly, she hits with every shot. On normal, she misses a lot more, I think. will destroy your country. Back off before you get hurt. So, this chapter, Sunset, has two parts. We just completed the first one, the mission at the mission at Restaurant Fukushima, which... Fukushima's dead, but not exactly in the, w in the way we had intended. And the choice of whether or not to kill him was taken away from us. So, before we enter the second part of Sunset... We've come back to Gar Garcian's trailer house in Washington State. And we're just going to save our game right here. We're just going to save it.
overwrite that. And next time, when we come back, we'll continue with part two of Sunset. It was mentioned by Travis that the next day, after this mission, there was going to be negotiations at the Kaku building between the U.S. and Japan on whether or not the fireworks would be fired. And that's where we're heading next time, to the Kaku building, and we're going to see how those negotiations turn out. I'll see you next time for that. Listen to the story of how my men work old. Don't mistake me for a grumbling sentimentalist, though. It's just my way to tell a story in the order of its historical facts. On the afternoon of the 18th of September 2004, Heaven Smiles appeared in a bank located in the downtown area of Seattle. The FBI's special forces were sent to the scene immediately. The incident occurred in one of the buildings under the FBI's surveillance. So we know about it as soon as it happened. Important government documents were kept in the bank's innermost safe. We aren't talking about data stored on a disk, either. I mean real ink and paper documents. I never learned their contents. When the FBI arrived, one third of the people in the bank had already turned into heaven smiles. They quickly started killing all the others. One third of the armed security guards, too, had become heaven smiles. When I got there, it had been almost an hour since the whole thing started. Right from the start, I knew there would be no survivors. Under my command, three units had infiltrated the bank. I waited and listened to their reports from a distance, and they had stopped communicating with me. The final report on the incident states that there were 29 explosions. After that, nothing, only pure silence. I decided to enter the building myself, to retrain the remaining teams. Miss Jacob would have calculated that my action was a probability well within her predictive powers. 